Hi everyone, Sherman here today and today I've got the Asus Zenfone 8 Flip which is the latest phone released by Asus. I'm going to do an unboxing video and this is going to be in real time my vlog star. I will do it uh, describing a genuine Asus product so uh, you will see me unboxing this and there will be no cuts. So the reason why i'm doing this is so you can see that it's an original box set so there are a lot of other videos on youtube that shows you this kind of box set but they don't tell you how it's original so you can tell where it's all wrapped there is a warranty seal here from uh because i bought this in malaysia so it's from thermodynamics that company that's the distributor here it says here if the seal is broken then well it's not it's been tampered with and there's also another sticker here by thermodynamics as well i don't know if you can see this but yeah so you got your uh number behind which is your ima number and your serial number so it's fully sealed and you've got to cut it open that's where the pen knife will be really useful so i use my pen knife for this uh i bought this online from shopee in malaysia it's 2,791 actually it's like 2,999 which is 750 US dollars for this phone but uh, Thunder Match was having a promotion and uh, Shopee as well so they gave it to me at 2,790 wait 2,771 so it's around 700 US dollars I think it's really worth it and that is like 50 US dollars off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open it and I will describe to you guys like uh, why I bought this phone over the Zenfone, uh, what do you call that? The Zenfone 7 Pro, which was last year's model. One of the reasons is because this model is available here in Malaysia. And the Zenfone 7 Pro wasn't, not officially anyway. So you have you can buy it from like a parallel importer, but the problem with that is that uh, when you do it that way, you will not be able to uh, claim the warranty easily. So you use a serrat serrated blade, as you can see here. There are some serrations. It's easy to cut. So you are able to cut this, but obviously when you open it. Uh, the seal will be broken so yeah so don't buy accidentally buy a china a china made clone this is the original Zenfone 8 in a box there are hardly any dents here there's a slight dent here i guess from uh you know the shop itself while it was distributed because when it came it was fully wrapped in bubble wrap double the times so it must have been from the distribution itself so here we go we're gonna open it it comes up from the bottom remember i use a separated blade at the bottom so i don't cut a box right so here we go so inside it's this another box here i just wanted to say that the eight flip logo here the eight reminds me a lot of the lost in space the one where robot shows the sign of uh the planet where it's from i think it was in the second season oops no spoilers so here there's a little box here i guess this is the uh sim ejection tool ah there you go the sim ejection tool and oh inside there's a really nice case which uh let me show you guys the case comes with this phone so you don't have to buy a another case but if you want i suggest you do if you don't like like hard cases a uh, reason why i bought the black case is because uh, a reason why i bought the black color which is called the galactic black one is because i i really like this black casing it has a really nice texture here okay, if you guys can see it see the nice texture but it's a hard case so if you guys like a soft one you have to buy a separate case i guess so here you get uh, your manuals and your SIM injection tool, that's about it. And the phone itself, there we go. Just right underneath is the phone itself. Ooh, it feels quite heavy. 
So I guess you guys can check out what the actual weight of the phone is on the other YouTube videos. I don't know, I don't want to go into detail, but I think a lot of people have already gone into detail. There is no uh, screen protector on. I don't see any screen protector on. So I guess you have to buy your own screen protector. You can see it here. Oh, it looks really nice, but uh, like sort of black, but uh, sort of a dark blue color as well. I don't know whether it's the lighting. So it's like dark metallic blue black. The reason why I got the black version is because I don't want it to uh, like stand out because you know when I'm taking videos, I do vlogging a lot. I don't want people to look at the phone so much and attract attention to it. And then there's this black case. We should make it like Batman, you know. He's always asking, I want it in black. And I got this in black, so it's pretty cool. I'm going to just start it for you guys. This is a blue accent here. You can see the for the power button. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, so I'm going to press it. I'm going to start it. Oh, does it work? Is it even powered? Oh, it's powering on. <laughs> so another reason why I'm doing this video is I'm going to make sure that I uh, have a working phone and it's the first time I'm going to power it on. There we go. It says Asus when it starts. Uh, Zen phone, right? I can't see it from this side. But anyway, I got this phone over the uh, Zen phone 7 because it's available here in Malaysia. I can officially claim the warranty and the price for 700 US dollars is actually around the same price as they are selling the Zen phone 7 Pro. Now, the only reason why you would buy a Zenfone 7 Pro is the optical image stabilization, which this unfortunately doesn't have. So I'm going to show you guys here the camera. I don't know if I can bring it up. Unfortunately, I can't bring it up. I will do this in another video. So this, this camera flips up. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys like the, there's a 64 megapixel, which is the middle, middle camera. And there's a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and then there is a 8 megapixel telephoto lens. So this is the Asus Zenfone 8 Flip. I really like. I think I like the Zenfone 7 Pro casing, like the outer case better, uh, the shell better because it looks like. You know, I mean, it looked better last time, but this would do. Uh, I get the Snapdragon 888 which is better than the 865 plus for the Zenfone 7 Pro and uh, this camera module flips 300,000 times versus the 200,000 times in the Zenfone 7 Pro so for that same price I'd rather get a newer phone right it makes more sense but everything else is the same as the Zenfone 7 Pro except the lack of optical image stabilization which is kind of a disappointment but I guess Asus must have taken into account that the electronic image stabilization would work just as well in this case. So I'll make another video for you guys and I will see you then and I hope you like this video and it help you see what a genuine oops I forgot to show you guys like what's inside as further inside the box secret compartment here there's a 30 watt uh, charger which is not the greatest and i heard that it takes about an hour plus to charge the phone from zero to 100 but uh to me it would do because i rather charge the phone slowly and not kill the battery uh, you know i'm kind of a weird person that way and there is uh this usb type c to type c cable hmm, that's strange because usually it's uh you know a normal usb but this one is Type C to Type C, so keep that into mind because this charger accepts Type C uh, output, right? And uh, one more thing is that this phone is not waterproof, so um, for me it's fine because you know I can repair the phone easily next time when I open it up. I don't have to worry about waterproofing, and I can change the battery. Um, and another thing is that it doesn't come with wireless charging which again I'm fine with uh, I have to charge it the normal way but just take in in mind that it's kind of heavy I really feel the half to it already so that's about it from me this is the Zenfone 8 Flip 
and i will see you guys in the next video if you do like this video please uh do give me a thumbs up and subscribe and uh, i will create another video ask me any questions about the phone in the meantime and i'll see you guys soon take care now bye